Hi, so you've got your new Yoga 260 and you've just logged in again. Here's our screen. One of the things we might want to do is set Chrome as our default browser. So how do we do that? We'd go into the bottom left here, into our window here for Windows 10, and we're going to look up our settings. So I'm going to just start typing in there, settings. I'm going to click on it. Here's all my settings, and in particular, I want to change an app, so it's going to be in my system settings right here. Click that, and what do I want to change? I want to change my default apps, which is right down near the bottom here. And one of the things I'm going to set, I'm going to go down to my web browser here and make sure it's set to Google Chrome. If it's not, um, you just click on it and it let you choose whatever you want. So let's say I, it wasn't set to Chrome, I could just change it to whatever I want here. By default, it will be set there. All you have to do is choose Chrome and you're good to go. That's how you make Chrome your default browser. And I'm gonna close this out. What else is in Windows 10 we might wanna see? If I bring up a browser like this, the way that windows are handled are slightly different in Windows 10. So I'll bring this up. I'll bring up uh, Internet Explorer 2. So that brought up in another window and maybe my file manager. So I brought up a bunch of things. This is a touch screen so you can do things like swipe. Now here's all my apps. So maybe I want to bring one of these up um, like this one we could bring up. So that's the one I want. No, I want this one. So I could bring that back up again also. Maybe I want to get rid of one. I could just click the X in the top corner there. Now I'm down to two. I could take this one, bring it up, but I want these to appear on half my screen. So I'm going to grab them, drag them to the left, click this one. Now I've got them both split. So you can do things like that in Windows 10, which is kind of nice. On the right hand side, we've got a swipe with kind of all of our functions like Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, our settings and stuff down there. And things that have happened to your system like an update was installed. All right, that's great. I'm done with that. So I can just swipe that off. I don't need that anymore so I just clear that notification area off and I can take this off as well and I'm back to my screen. This guy I want back full so I can see it so I click the full button and we're good to go. All of our icons are down here in our icon tray so everything that's running in the background is sitting down there and it's going well. And that's a quick introduction to Windows 10.